Hi friends, welcome back to Arc Tutorials. This is MongoDB full tutorial series for beginners. We are in the part 9 of the series and in today's episode we are focusing on learning how to insert documents into collections. Throughout this particular series you will come across terms like database, collections and documents which I have covered exclusively in episode number 3 and in detail of each what it does and how to interpret that in context of MongoDB. If you are new on this series, I recommend you to kindly check out that tutorial so that it will set context for the entire series for you. This is MongoDB full tutorial playlist. The playlist link is in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. If you have any doubts, just drop them in the comment section below. I'll try and help you as much as I can. All right, so we are in the episode number nine. Uh, make sure you have gone through the previous episodes just so you have the continuous in continuity in your learning. All right, so like I do in most hands-on examples, I will show you both with Compass app and with Visual Studio Code extension and running commands. You can also use a, a tool called Robo3D, which has a Studio 3D tool application, which is very similar to Compass app. So don't stress too much on it. You can use any of these to manage and work with MongoDB. All right, so today we are talking about inserting documents into collections. So to insert, it's nothing but creating a new document, right? So what is a document? It's nothing but it's a key value pair data. That's what we call it as document in MongoDB, right? And what is a collection? It's a group of the like, set of collection of documents um, in, a, in, in, in to which we collect into a collection, right? So it's set of documents basically. Now to insert documents into collection, there are two, two ways we can do it. One, we can insert a single document or we can insert multiple documents at once. I'll show you both of these. So let's get started. I'll also make some notes for you along because that's important. First, let me show you with uh, MongoDB Compass app. So we logged in, there's a database called TestingDB. We have a collection called Leads. Now click on Insert and give the key name, right? And then the value to it, right? It can be any key name, it can be any value you want, right? So this is how it looks like the document, right? Now you can insert any number of document and right so you can insert any number of document it can have any schema that you want say let's say in the previous one we inserted name here i'm inserting address right so you can in, you can have it anything that you want right so these are the set of valid documents inside this collection called leads which is inside the database testing db right so this was inserting using Compass app, right? So now I'll show you the same with MongoDB, right? But before that, let me make some notes for you. So in inserting notes, right? Inserting documents, right? So remember these things that we can insert any number of documents into a collection, right? Now we can insert one or more documents into the collection okay now remember very very extremely important thing pay attention here now every document that we insert will have a unique key right or i would say unique key by the name underscore id right this value the value the value of this key is always unique and 24 character right so you can think of if you want to relate you can relate this to this like a primary key if you want to relate it in your sql or rdbms right so think of underscore id as a primary key in your collection right now very very important thing again pay attention a lot of times in interviews you are asked can we change the value of underscore id right so i'll give you three seconds to think about this answer can we change the value of id yes we can right we can change it but there is a there are some clauses right so remember this so what what so it has it is tricky right uh, it is tricky if you change it. Let me show you that example. So let's say I open this particular object, right? And I want to change it. So now see, 
so I'll create a new document and here I'm saying I want this value so see instead of 8 I'm putting 0 now right here so I'm able to change it right I can change the primary key value provided default from MongoDB right while insertion but remember do not do this do not do this what changing the underscore ID right value the reason is it's a unique one it's secured it's strong it's provided by MongoDB you don't want to tamper it right it's you you know that it's always unique it's always safe to use that uh, so changing that can lead to problems right instead I would always recommend my team also and everyone that please do not change that value leave it as it is all right so that was about the ID key for each document that we insert now we have seen um, how to insert using compass app right now let's see how to do it in visual studio code extension mongodb extension right so for this so let's say you have uh, your uh, connection and you have your database you have your say this particular document you want to insert right just click on it and you can create a new one and you can insert them okay so how do you do that so you can do it with query or you can just manage it here like say if you want to create a new one right so what I'll do view documents and I can just copy this as it is right and change some value right this is read only so I'll copy this obviously and you can give a new name like this and save as in the same documents it will get added again this is not a very um, I would say it's not a very uh, great way to kind of um, work with it um, so I would I would definitely not encourage this way because you have to be a pro level in order to um, work with this the best way that we will work is with the API's right API's or with the commands right that's what you will actually do in your real-time projects so how do you do that let's see that now so I'm going to clear everything so to insert first you will do show databases it will show you the list of databases then you what you'll do you will select use testing DB you're selecting the DB you switch to it now I'm saying DB dot that the name of the collection which is leads in this case right and then I'm saying so these are the commands so you'll say dot insert or you can say dot insert many right so that is up to us how which one you want to insert so you'll say insert followed by function bracket then curly braces because it's a JSON object so here I'm going to say name from terminal right so this is a valid JSON data that I'm passing you can pass any number of keys I'll just show you that also so it says write result inserted one which means now it has inserted one let's see that in the database documents so you see from terminal it inserted one document now I'm going to do that again and what I'm going to do I'm going to add one more key to it now and here I'm going to say city okay so now I'm adding name and city right enter so now it says added one more refresh and you will see document 5 and you see this is added right so this is inserting one single document at a time now you can also do insert many so what you will do here you just have to copy this entire thing comma and then again start here and again something similar right so what I would like to do most times is I would just copy this right I will just copy this as it is and just type it here db dot dot insert many and then here <coughs> we'll build that object basically right so and here you'll say from channel or you can give anything you want uh, these are uh, that's what I like about it that right that I can add any anything that I want here right so 
So see, these are all valid documents. They have different keys. It's totally fine, right? All right. So now I have two documents that I'm trying to insert. Let's copy them here. Go paste it here and then enter. So it says uh, missing colon, right? Uh, where is it? Okay, here. Right. So make sure. That's why I like to write it in the editor. It's much easy. Uh, document.map is not a function. Let's see what is the gain mistake here. Uh, insert. It's leads, not leads, right? So make sure you write it in your editor so that it's much easy because when you're working with big uh, queries, it makes sense that you can use it there. Uh, it says document.map is not a function. Okay, let's see what is it. Uh, we have got the name, we have got the channel, and then we comma, we got state. Tamil Nadu, comma, name, colon, Mickey, address, Orlando. Okay, this is, okay. Let's see if there is a data mistake. So I'm going to run this. And here, uh, document.map query is not a function. Okay. Uh, we'll give it a try maybe and see and document insert mini so just refer to the collection um, documentation and we should be good so it says document one okay so it's an array right so that's what it says so that's where uh, I made a mistake so what we should do here is uh, we can have multiple and it's an array so that's where I made a mistake so refer to documentation whenever you're stuck. Uh, most developers will make some or other mistake. So it's best that you always refer to the official documentation. So now you see it says acknowledge true and insert IDs. Um, so we have inserted the IDs and let's refresh. The count is five. Now it should be seven. So you see, and it has inserted Mickey Orlando and from channel Tamil Nadu. All right, uh, so that's that's pretty much um, I wanted to cover today, which is inserting, right? Uh, and you can insert one document, you can insert multiple many documents at one go. In the next episode, I'll cover how to update documents uh, in the collection. So this is part of your CRUD operations that we are seeing, create, read, update, delete. I hope you're finding the tutorials useful. Make sure you check out all the other um, episodes in the series as well. Do let me know if you have any doubts. See you in the next episode.